Hi, I'm Ayana and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a Battle of the Products. I personally enjoy watching Battle of the Products, Battle of the Brand type of videos on YouTube and the natural hair community. I'm going to be testing out the Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Ego Styler Gel. I keep hearing really, really great things about this, but I wanted to try it out for myself. And then I'm going to be trying the Olive Oil Ego Styler Gel which is also a huge fan favorite in the natural hair community. Being a curly girl that has never used a gel for her wash and go or her um, curly hair routine, I wanted to know what my unbiased opinion was gonna be on both of these products. So I will be testing these two out today. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. When it came to the application overall, I absolutely loved the application of the black caster side. Um, it smelled amazing. It had really, really great slip, so I didn't feel like I was breaking off any of my hair. My fingers weren't getting stuck, they were just gliding through. The consistency of it on my hair felt like a thick, curly custard mixed with like a slight gel. I had barely any shedding. When it came to the application of the olive oil side, I did not like it at all. It was sticky, gunky. My fingers fingers kept getting stuck I just did not like it and it seemed initially like it was weighing my hair down because it would leave like some pieces looking straight which I knew my curls were gonna bounce back but the gel was just so sticky that it didn't really allow for my curls to bounce back on their own when it came to dry time the black caster and flaxseed uh, gel took a little bit longer not that much longer but the olive oil definitely dried a little bit quicker the hold and the frizz so i definitely experienced more frizz on the black caster side for me the black caster side definitely has a lighter hold than the olive oil side but because it has a light hold it definitely left my curls nice and bouncy and light it did not weigh my hair down at all another thing is there was no crunch with the olive oil side there was definitely a crunch but i don't mind crunch because to me that's an indicator that it's having a stronger hold however you get the crunch out it's really satisfying for me to do that so i don't mind when my curls are crunchy on the first day because i know that's going to go away the olive oil definitely has a nice average hold i thought it was going to have like a really strong hold because it was you know really kind of looking like it was weighing my hair down but it dried really nicely it's definitely light i think it gave me a lot more curl definition okay so this is day two hair and I'm actually having very mixed feelings about using gels for my wash and go in general but one thing I will say is that with my edges they're like frizzy and it's only second day hair usually my edges will like still be slightly laid for the olive oil side um, it's not as frizzy as the black caster side. I thought gels would weigh my hair down, I just make it feel dry, but they actually don't weigh my hair down at all. Both of them left really light and bouncy results for my hair uh, for day two. This is a lot more volume than I'm used to for day two hair. Gels, I just don't think are that hydrating for my hair. I can already tell that using gels for wash and goes for me would probably be better to use if I was co-washing frequently because I already know my curls will not last the week. Like, I'm sure my curls will start to feel dry by maybe day three or four. So with co-washing, you're replenishing that moisture uh, several times throughout the week. Another thing I noticed with gels is that the dry time is dramatically shorter than using like a, a curly cream. Um, but I will say when it comes to moisture and my hair feeling soft, it's really, really crucial because my hair is colored. It's not feeling as moisturized as it would if I was using like a curl defining cream. Uh, another huge indicator of like how much moisture is in my hair is by my kitchen. So like the little naps at the na nape of your neck. I noticed the next day that my hair did not retain that much moisture in the bottom back of my hair. Black castor oil side definitely was drier. It was frizzier. The olive oil side uh, still had definition, still had bounce. And that's a big deal for me because like your edges, the parameter of your hair it breaks off the easiest, or at least it does for me. I need that moisture in order to retain my length. So when it gets frizzy on the second day, that's just not a good indicator for me. 
my final conclusion is I'm conflicted as heck. Uh, I would probably have to go with the black caster. The application, the slip is great, the smell is great, and the only big issue I had was the frizziness. And I feel like that can be fixed with just adding a little bit more gel, or even taking my Denman brush and helping the frizz that way. The olive oil, I one thing I just did not like was there was not enough slip when applying this. The black caster is the winner. I'll definitely be using this on my edges. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be sure to see you in my next one.